Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out the man, the myth, the legend, the monster, the mountain. <sighs> the man mountain, JJ Watt. Uh, defensive end for the Texans. To try and stop this guy from getting to your quarterback would be nearly impossible, but we're about to find out. Um, he's number 12 on the list. He made it to the list last year, I feel, even though he didn't play which some people were sort of angry about, but I think we're, we're, we're definitely going to hear about that this year, I feel. It's 3 minutes 11 seconds long. I'm going to roll the intro, and I'll see you back here shortly to check him out. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... What, what do you call... What, what? A D lineman with a black eye. JJ what? Has he got a black eye? What do you call a D lineman with a black eye? Assaulted. Assaulted peanut. He's is look. Uh, I don't know if this is going completely over my head, but is he is he assaulted? Because it's like impossible to get a black eye with a helmet on. So he must have been punched. I, man, I, pfft, completely over my head. Let's go, JJ Watt. Let's go. Yeah, 84 last year. Look how big his hands are. Holy shit. Man, I'm gonna have to try and get the sound going a little bit higher. Cause uh ah, JJ Well, he's still got it. Oh, he got dominated, didn't he? Yeah, I would say he has a great jump on the ball. He spats off the edge, but he's just going to pull Denzel Good right back into Andrew Luck. And uh, he also plays the whole play, like that attitude of working as hard as you can during the whole play, makes him the player that he is. You know, if you see him with a double team or a triple team, in some way, he's swimming through there and he's he, he split through there and make the play. 
just kept working. Mm -hmm. How did he do that? Fire, man. Finally got there. How did he do that? The thing that most expressed for JJ is <laughs> he can play the end and he also can play the tackle. He can wreck a game by himself at either spot. Here's Parker in one blast for the TFL. Henry gets the call and walk has a tap for a TFL. Good tackles, man. Nice and low. That's not the guy you're trying to chase. That's a heck of a play by JJ Watt. I don't know if I want that arm brace. <laughs> that's, that's like a bionic arm. Looks like it's screwed into his freaking arm and it's like controlled by a remote control that allows it to like extend or, or come across. That, that means that it's solid as fuck. And uh, he's swinging that thing around. Each arm must weigh 50 pounds. For sure. Absolutely. Each arm would probably weigh about 60 pounds. Anyways, guys. That was JJ Watt. Um, do we do a bit of research? Let's, let's look him up. Let's see what he's been up to this year. JJ Watt. Justin James. I forgot that. 1989. He's 30. 6 foot 5. 130 odd kgs. Went the 11th pick in the first round of the 2011 draft. Houston Texans, five Pro Bowls, including last year. Five first team All Pros, including last year. He got the NFL Man of the Year in 2017, which I saw last year. Three time NFL Defensive Player of the Year. And it's quite surprising he didn't get that last year, actually. I wonder who did. Let's see who got that last year. Aaron Donald. For the second time. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He's number one on the list. Let's go back. Okay. <laughs> wow. He was two... Oh my god, he was 220 pounds when he went to college. Wow. He's put on like... Holy shit, man. He's put on nearly 70 pounds. Probably even more than that. Definitely filled out, hasn't he? He played as a freshman. He redshirted his next year, then came back in 9 and 10. He skipped his last season, entering the 2011 draft, and he was a top performer in all combine categories except for the 40-yard dash, which he ran in 4.84. He was the first def defensive end selected in the first round. He was picked by the Houston Texans with the 11th overall pick. The Texans signed Watt to a four-year, $11.24 million contract. Now, if you were going to be 11th pick in the draft, why would you play that last year of college football? Let me know in the comment section below. Let me know. And have any players, like, only play two years of college and that they see themselves as good enough or mature enough to, to enter the league? Does that happen? Because I'm pretty sure... LeBron James skipped college basketball altogether. He went from high school to, to professional. Does that happen in football? Can it happen in football? Let me know. If you've enjoyed this video, guys, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. We're going to be back here shortly to check out number 11 on the list, DeAndre Hopkins. Also known as Nuke. So I'll see you then, guys. Cheers. Cheers.